Thank you guys for joining me this week for Pretty for Jesus. I've got Reverend Kate McVeigh with us this week, and we've had a wonderful time at our I Am Love Women's Conference here at Trillhead Church. You know, our entire theme this week has been about I Am Love. Yes. Right? About the love of Christ and how in His love we are more than conquerors. Mm -hmm. You know, why is it that so many of us are living bad, like just defeated lives? What do you think that is? You know, there are many of us that we suffer feeling guilt, shame, condemnation, and we're walking around defeated because we don't have a true understanding of who we are in Christ Jesus. One of the scriptures that we've used this week is found in Romans chapter 8. I'm going to read it here in verse 1 and 2. It tells us that there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Praise God, I'm free from condemnation. Yes. I'm free from guilt and shame. Powerful, yes. It's awesome to think oh, about. Oh, I love that. Because you know, condemnation, it will try to stop you. I mean, That's right. condemnation yeah. kills, yeah. right? And as I was sharing with the ladies here mm -hmm. at this wonderful conference, and Anna, she's an awesome preacher, by the way. She rocks. She's this girl. Yeah, fine. It's this all, girl's it's anointed. All, you know, it's the Holy Ghost. Praise this girl's God anointed. For the Holy Praise Ghost. God yeah. for that. Um, but I've seen, like, in my life, even, if, if condemnation tries to come against me, I know it's yeah. trying to come against you. You know, we're ministers yeah. that we sometimes battle. It might not be great big giant things, but it could be little things that mm -hmm. are trying to condemn us, right? The devil will use anything, but condemnation will mm -hmm. kill. And, you know, the Bible does say that we're forgiven the minute that, that we repent. We ask That's God right. to forgive us. He washes our sin away. So you can't let that condemnation pull you down. You know, you can, you can never overcome uh, whether it's a bad habit or wrong thinking or worry, whatever. That's if right. you're feeling condemned, yeah. if you're That's beating right. yourself up, it, it's really hard to overcome when you're, when you're beating yourself up. So know that God loves you. Yeah. Know that you're forgiven. The Bible says in Isaiah that we're imprinted. He has mm -hmm. us imprinted in the that's palm really of his hands, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, that's a lot of love. You might love your kids, but I don't know if you have them tattooed or engraved <laughs> in your in your hands, right? right? Yeah. You'd have to have, like, that's like how four much, of listen, them, right? You know, it'd, it'd be out of control. Yeah, exactly. But God loves us that much, and that's what's kind of the theme of the much. conference we just came out of. It was powerful. So know that God loves you, and when condemnation comes, remind yourself, remind the devil that you are that's forgiven. Right. And that God mm -hmm. does love you. Don't receive it because God still has a great plan for your life. The Bible says God's mercies are new every morning. That's right. But you got to receive it too. You got to you got to make a decision. I'm going to receive the forgiveness because you know we can mm -hmm. choose to keep beating ourselves up or not. That's right. And we've got to choose to believe the word, mm -hmm. which says we are forgiven That's and there's right. no condemnation. So just take it, and then you can have a great day, and you can have a much better life. And that you're a new creation in Christ Jesus. That He's made all things things new, right. totally recreated who you are in Him. I mean, that's the wonderful thing mm -hmm. about receiving Jesus as our Lord and Savior, that He goes in and He takes out that old stony heart and puts in a heart of flesh, yes, he then He washes us whiter than snow. And that old person who you once were, guess what, mm -hmm. you're not that person that's any right. longer. That's right. And so we don't we don't need to allow mm -hmm. condemnation to rob right. us exactly. from what God wants to bless us with for our future. And that's right. exactly what it tries to do. It'll that's steal right. your faith, yeah. and not only yourself, it'll right. steal your faith in others. It'll still your faith in God and yeah. still your faith in that plan and purpose because you feel like you're never good enough for God right. to bless you. Right. And I've had people yeah. that they'll say, well, you know, I'm just not worthy for mm -hmm. God to heal me. You know, that's condemnation mm -hmm. to feel that you're unworthy for right. God to come in and right. heal your body or to take care of your needs. And you know mm -hmm. that you are seated in heavenly places far above all principalities right. and powers right. in Christ Jesus. That's right. As a matter of fact, we're adopted. Mm -hmm. As yes, sons and daughters of right. God. That's the Bible, That's right? the Bible. That's yeah. who you are in Christ. Exactly. So if you've been battling with that, you need to get in and understand who you are in Christ Jesus. Exactly. A part of being I am loved, of knowing that we're loved in God, is knowing who we are in Him. Yeah. When you get in, I mean, for me, when, I, yeah. when I'm struggling with something, right, right. when I begin to get into His Word mm -hmm. and find out who I am in Him, yeah. Then that word brings life. It yes. brings light. It will go in and, you know, and it goes into those crooks and crannies and crevices yes. on the inside mm -hmm. of us. Mm -hmm. And then the Holy Spirit will illuminate it on the inside of our hearts. And we'll begin to realize, oh, no, no, devil, that's not who I am. That's and right. I receive God's that's best. Right. Yes. But you're right. Yes. I choose to be a receiver. That's right. That's I told right. the ladies, I said, mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to get mine. Mm -hmm. Whatever yeah, God absolutely. has for me, yeah. right? And what, you did. You just yeah, received yeah. it. Whatever God has me for too. me, I'm getting yeah, it. We're getting it. We're I'll tackle it. you. That's well, right. I'm not going to tackle right, you. Right, right, right. You know, 
<laughs> you're going to get yours too. That's right. Well, and you know what too? Our mistakes don't define us. No, Everybody's they don't. made mistakes. No. Yeah. Everybody, you know, everybody has a past and has, has made mistakes, but you know, kind of look at it. That's not who you are. There's something you did. That's okay? good. But don't That's let right. it don't let it define your whole life. Take your take the forgiveness from God and go on and be obedient to that, you know? And like you were saying, we're not worthy because we're anything great no. in and of ourselves, right. but we're worthy because Jesus made us worthy that's and good. that that is what makes mm -hmm. us worthy to receive right yeah, because right. of what he did not because of what we did but because of what he did he said we're the righteousness of god in christ that's right i am right standing in christ right. jesus and i am more than a conqueror yes. through him Absolutely. through christ that's mm -hmm. why we're more than conquerors that's right because of the greater one that's living on the inside, inside. of you that's right amen well kate thank you so much thank this you, has Anna. been wonderful all right guilt and shame no more no more that's condemnation right. That's right. I am alive in Christ Jesus. You hold yes. fast to that. We understand who you are in the word of what God says about your life. You're more than a conqueror. This is a new day, a fresh start. The greater one is living big on the inside of you. Amen. Amen. All right. Love you guys. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.